Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk-in tutoring five days a week. Today we'll look at standard temperature and pressure and uh, molar volume. When dealing with gases, uh, scientists wanted uh, a way to do comparison between properties of different gases, and they realized that they needed to do this in a standard way. Uh, and what they came up with is to uh, look at those gases at a standard temperature and pressure. They selected 273 degree Kelvin for the standard temperature. Uh, that's equivalent to zero degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, essentially the um, melting point of water for the standard temperature. And then for pressure, you know, obviously they uh, decided to go ahead with one atmosphere, uh, which is the you know common pressure you'll find uh, around the world. So at those conditions, uh, one thing that uh, an equivalence that comes up is that a mole of any gas will equal uh, or take up 22.4 liters of volume. So one mole of a gas is going to be 22.4 exactly liters of gas. So you can use this as a conversion factor but only when you're at standard temperature and pressure. And so how you'll uh, deal with this in your uh, science courses is uh, how we'll show here an example. Let's say they gave you uh, in your problem that you had two grams of helium and you also had two grams of neon. And they asked you to calculate the volume at STP for these two gases. So what you would do first, because the molar volume, the mole per liter, only applies uh, to moles, first you have to convert uh, to moles. So a mole of helium weighs four grams. So you have four grams in one mole. And now you can use this molar volume that applies to any gas at STP, where one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. So by canceling out here, your moles are going to cancel out here. You do this calculation, you're going to end up with 11.2 liters is how much 2 grams of helium will um, be converted into volume. Now with neon, we're going to be a little different. A mole of neon weighs 20 grams. And then the molar volume, again, applies to any gas. So that stays the same as one mole of neon. So your grams cancel out, your moles cancel out. Now you'll see your answer is 2.24 liters. So even though you have the same amount of weight of helium and neon here, because of the difference in molecular weights, they will uh, occupy a different volume uh, at STP. And that's the uh, important factor to remember when you use a molar volume, is that um, which gas you have does affect the weight, but as far as moles, any mole you have of a gas at that temperature and pressure is going to be the same volume. So this is the type of problem they, uh, you may come across in your science course. Thank you.